Hello everyone, Ram McKay here, and welcome back to part 12 of Velia in Skyrim. Alright, so we fetched the Alto wine and the honey that treats. Welcome to the land of eternal oh, snow and God, gloominess. Oh God, stop that. Hello there. Cure for donkey tail curse. You have a uh, Alto wine and the honey that treats? Good, good. Give them to me, please. I have the potion ready for you now. Not that the dumb dog deserves it, of course. Uh, and I have another surprise for you as well. I have taught Vilya some spells. Not anything uh, spectacular. After all, she's a lord. And when it comes to spell casting, everyone knows that nords are, uh, well, well, uh, let's put it this way. Teaching Vilya is quite different from showing a sharp Dunmagan a few tricks. But she has done her best. And she now knows some basic, but not too dangerous spells. I'm sure she'll tell you all about it herself. She, uh, of course, also wanted me to teach her how to cast fireballs. But I refused. I bet she would have had you fried by accident. <laughs> Anyway, you better move on now. Your thirsty Butterfield Nord is probably very um, eager to meet you. You believe he will recover? <laughs> I am sure he will recover. I will let you in on a little secret. He will get well, because there is no curse. It is all in his own head. He imagines that he is cursed, and he imagines it so badly that he can even feel the tail growing. He doesn't need that potion then? Oh, he needs it. It's the only way to convince him that he will be, uh, fine. Of course, the potion is just water, ale, and some ingredients to make it taste really bad. He surely deserves that. But why did I have to get you all those ingredients? The ingredients? Oh, they were not for his potion, silly. They were for a new uh, experiment I'm working on. Nidil Lalu's special beauty moisture. When I'm happy with the mixture, you'll be the first to have a potion of it. Or the second, if I can't convince my daughter to be my first guinea pig. She has more to say? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I am sure he will recover. <clears throat> yes? Heard any interesting gossip lately? Huh. Guess what? Henry has taught me to cast new spells. Tell me about your spells. Henry has taught me a whole set of new spells. Nothing great like fireballs or so, but still. She said I ought to ask for your advice on which ones to use. So, whenever we have time to go through my fighting instructions, let's look at my new spells as well. Hmm, what is it? You know, sometimes it really irritates me that you are always deciding where we are going. I think it's my turn to lead the way for a change. Maybe after we deliver the bottle. I'll have to wait. Oh well. I obviously cannot force you. We will A good sense of location. 
airport. Welcome to the land of snow, snow and luminous hubs all the time. Alright, let's get out of <laughs> Indeed. Anything else? I think Erlon Greymane is probably the best blacksmith in all Skyrim. I can hardly believe it. Now, how about you? Have you heard any news lately? You already know all that I know. Don't be silly. You must have overheard some rumor somewhere. Everyone has. Well, there might be nothing to it. But I've heard that the feud between the Grey Manes and the Battleborns in Whiterun has grown ugly. Yes, so they say. That's what I thought. Alright, let's ask her about her spells while she's Yes? Here. Um... Fighting strategy. Sure. Anything in particular you have in mind? Guarding your spells. Yes, you do want me to use my spells, right? Bound, battle axe, flames, frostbite, lesser ward, muffle. Wow. Um. Learn new spells? Oh, I would love to learn new spells. If you have a spell tome for me, I could try it out. Let me see if you have got something that I think I could learn. If you say so. Oh, I'll have to check that out in the future if she can learn more from just spell tomes. <clears throat> um. I'm worried about fighting strategy. Sure. Anything in particular you have in mind? Yes. You do want me to use my spells, right? Uh, your spell looks list looks fine to me. All right. I assume she'll use Talk those later. spells depending on the situation. Wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? Oh, sure. Wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? Tell me your thoughts. I wish you wouldn't take so many risks when you are fighting. Sometimes it scares me. I don't want anything to happen to you. Oh, via, yeah. Talk later. Alright, let's go back to that door and give the bottle. Alright, here we are back in Riverwood. Give the, uh... Arachno, would you please keep that dog here? I love the serenity of this place. <laughs> give me a bit nervous. You know, give him his potion. Oh, please, help me get rid of this curse. I cannot live with a donkey tail for the rest of my life. What would my mother say? A cursed. You're a real jackass? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was too easy. Uh, cure for a donkey tail curse. You, you have a cure for me? Thank you so much. I've been waiting so long for this, to finally get rid of the donkey tail. Stupid dog. Uh, I'm sure this cure will help you. Give it to me, please. Well, just then. It... It helped? It has stopped growing. I'm, I'm cured. Yes, didn't I tell you? Indeed you did. And now I only have one problem. And what would that be? It's my pal, Leifer here. Finest dog in all Skyrim. I bought him from a traveling merchant passing through Riverwood. But now I cannot keep him. You see, now that I've got rid of this donkey tail, I want to go home to my mum, and my mum hates dogs. So I was wondering, could you or maybe the little lady take care of Leifer for me? He won't be any problem at all, and he hardly has any fleas. Of 
course, I've always wanted a pet. That's great. Here, I'll give you a command that you can use to call for him if he ever gets lost. Please, make sure that you give him meat often. He likes that. Far too sniffy. Goodbye then, and thank you again for helping me. What I'm really looking forward to now is returning to my mum. No one can make meatballs like my mom, and no one can make stronger me than her either. <laughs> you know, sometimes it really irritates me that you never ask for my opinion. For instance, when did you last ask me what I thought we should do next? Uh, what should we do next? Maybe we could play a game? Like uh, rock, paper, scissors? Mm, no. Shall we continue? Alright, Lafer. <coughs> oh, what a sweet dog. I've always loved dogs. Good dog. Oh, what a sweet dog. I've always loved dogs. And Lafer is such a nice name for a dog. Aha! Eat it. All right. Um. No one can make me boss like that. Let's talk for a little while. What's on your mind, friend? Tell me about yourself. Would you like that? Please go ahead. When I grew up, my best friend was a girl called Brit. We were the same age, and our parents knew each other. We had lots of fun doing the things every Nord kid enjoy. Skiing, skating, hunting, fishing, training rats. And betting on which of the adults would be the next one to fart. I'm sure you used to do the same kind of things when you were a kid. Brit and I were inseparable until we were 15. Then her dad got work as a hunter I'm at the sure castle on an island that. outside of Solstein, and the family Fox. moved. Far too sniffy. I can't recall the name of the place. I think it started with Earl. Anyway, last time I heard from Brit, she was working there as a castle maid. I hope I will see I her again sometime in the future. Fortune. Maybe the two of us could way. visit her at some Perhaps point. They have to hide themselves in caves. Maybe. They should use more... Finesse. Shall we continue? Alright, Lafer. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Yes, someone did steal my sweet roll. Um... Quick, keep quiet, will you? Uh, you can I'm come sure with me. Will be happy. Alright. Tell me about yourself. Would you like that? Please, go ahead. In order to gather some money while I was in Whiterun, I applied for work as a city guard. I was accepted as a... well, some kind of trainee, I would think. And I even got my own uniform. But uh, then they thought I was too crappy at archery. Some of the guards offered to give me lessons, but it didn't work out very well. You see, several times I managed to hit the guards instead of the target. Luckily, none of them were seriously injured. They just took an arrow in the knee. Huh? But uh, I have a feeling that they have been complaining about it ever since. <laughs> Talk later. Please, go ahead. I have never been a very good alchemist, to be honest. My mother taught both me and my sister, but my sister was so much more talented than I. You know, since you and I started to travel together, I have discovered something. I'm actually a quite good fighter. Don't you think so too? I agree. You're a good fighter. Talk later. Who 
wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? Tell me your thoughts. Tell me honestly. Do you ever regret that you asked me to stay here with you? Not for a second. Is it true? Oh, I'm so glad to hear those words from you. You see, it means so much to me that we are here together. You're more than just a friend to me. I know. And to tell the truth, you are also more than a friend to me. There is something more between us, isn't it? I just don't know what to call it. Yet. Talk later. It's so nice to just talk a little, you and I. I was just thinking, would you be interested if I told you a little about myself? Please, go ahead. Don't people ever dance on the tables here? In Sol's time we did it all the time. People used to meet up at the mead halls. They had a few tankers of mead, five or ten or so, and then the dancing would begin. It's surely a sight to see a bunch of sturdy Nords jumping and skipping on one leg on a table. Unfortunately, the tables do not last that long. You know, I think it's a rather nice tradition. It would be nice if we could introduce it in Skyrim one of these days. Talk later. Tell me your thoughts. Do you think I look fat in this outfit? Of course not. You look just lovely. Do you think so? Thank you. Tell me about yourself. Would you like that? Go ahead, please. I was talking about my time in White Run, wasn't I? One day when I was at the Bannered Mare, I met an Agonia merchant who was in need of my assistance. He had a package to be delivered to Windhelm, but uh, he didn't want to go there himself. He said his constitution simply couldn't handle the cold climate in the Windhelm area, and I can surely understand why. Well, I offered to bring the package to the Candle Hearth Hall for him, and off I went. Windhelm, what can one say about that place? It's cold, ugly, and generally miserable. I mean, I like snow, but there's a limit also to that. I wonder how the people at the Windhelm marketplace can stand that situation, although they do have one advantage. The meat for sale must stay fresh for a very long time, as it probably is frozen. Shall we continue? Please, go ahead. It's strange that snow in Windhelm can be so different from snow in Solstein. The Windhelm snowstorms are just horrible, whereas at home... I've always loved the brisk snowy days in Solstein, and the games we used to play. One thing I miss from Solstein is the snowball wars. The young people in the village where I lived used to build forts of snow and roll snowballs then we attacked. The winner was the team that managed to destroy the opponent's board. Of course, my sister and I cheated at times. We used our mother's meatballs and rolled them to snowballs. They were excellent ammunition. Mom got furious, of course. She said it was a sacrilege to use food as ammunition. But then she couldn't help laughing. And she gladly admitted that her meatballs never were that great as food anyway. Shall we continue? Lufer, you are the loudest dog ever. Ever. Wolfgang was never this loud. You just bark all the time. You're a bad dog. No, you're bad. 
You're bad dog. <laughs> Don't argue with me. Don't argue with me. Please, go ahead. I was telling you about my mother's meatballs, right? You know, maybe it was a bit unfair to complain over her cooking. A bit. Maybe. I'm actually better at cooking than my mother. My grandmother taught me, you see. In particular, my grandmother was really good at baking cakes. My sister and I used to help her. <laughs> Although we probably weren't very good at it. We spent more time tasting the dough than actually baking cakes. My grandmother's sweet rolls were incredible. She had to lock them into a chest, else we would eat them all instantly. But the chest didn't help much. You see, Brit's brother was quite good at making lockpicks. And he taught us how to do it too. Grandmother used to complain that her sweet rolls disappeared way too fast and that she couldn't understand how this happened. But I'm sure she knew what was going on, especially since she found a lockpick that I had forgotten in her basement. You do know, don't you, that I'm quite happy to make lockpicks for you. I only need an iron ingot and access to a forge. Shall we continue? Thank <laughs> you. 